once you have that information, you can go and proceed and obtain the password. Uh, the password for getting the password is two different methods you can take. There's um, cross referencing a word list, basically like brute forcing. Uh, that does take some time, and you're limited on what's in that word list. I'll go ahead and link some word lists in the sidebar. So if you don't have any already, you can just download the ones I specify and use that for reference. I'll show you how to do that. And I'm also going to show you how to do the other method, which is basically creating a hash specific to the SSID, which is Leets network in this case. So if you ever um, try cracking networks that use the default network name like Linksys or D-Link or something like that, this would be a great uh, method to choose because it does take some time to create the hash table, but once you do have the hash table, it's very quick uh, to actually crack that password. So I'm going to show you the hash method first. Um, I was trying to create a hash table prior to making this video, but my system actually BSOD'd, BSOD'd on me, so I don't have it completed. But I'll just show you what, would, what needs to be done. So um, basically, if we want to create a hash table, what we need to do first is we need to switch directories. So I'm going to change directories slash pen test wireless, and it's going to be cowpatty. That's the tool we're going to be using here. Okay, so now we're in that directory, and we can go and proceed here by or period slash gen pmk and space hyphen s, and then we can notate down the name of the network, which is Leeds Network. space hyphen f and then we want to notate down the directory that the word list is in now for my machine virtual machine I already have uh, one of my local host drives mapped to it so I just go to my storage drive docs word list and I'm gonna using this final word list right here so I can just copy down this directory switch to my root or my shell console rather and paste in that directory and the word list name is final hyphen word list I believe let me make sure of that yeah word list.txt so I see here I specified the directory that my uh, word list is located in and then after that I can just uh, space and then add in the name of the hash table I want to create so in this case I will name it my WPA hash and at this point I just hit enter it's going to say it doesn't uh, exist, so it's going to create one for us. Now, this, this does take a while. Um, for my word list, I have about a million words on this particular file. And this isn't even, that's not the biggest I have. I have a one that's like four, six million, something like that. But uh, I'm just using this one for example. And to create a hash for a one million word uh, word list, which is about 10 megabytes big, it'll take about two to three hours to complete. So I'm just going to stop this now. I just want to show you that for example. And once you do have that hash table completed, you can basically try any network with the same SSID to use it. But to actually initiate the uh, hash table, you type in while in this directory period slash cowpatty space hyphen s, and then the SSSID of our network, which is going to be Leet's network. I knew it would do that. Space hyphen d, and now we can specify the name of that hash file we created which is, where is it at, my WPA hash, okay, and then space hyphen R, and we're going to notate down that file we created to, uh, when we did, the, we obtained that handshake, which I believe is my underscore WPA, and with the extension, okay, so we see here, it went through this, and it didn't find anything. Um, I didn't actually create the whole hash, so this normally would probably take a, a little bit longer, but not nearly as long as it would take to actually uh, uh, cross-reference a word list. So this, this is very, very useful if you do uh, wish to create a hash for networks with the same SSID. Now, with that method aside, I'm going to show you the uh, most commonly used method. For this next method here, I went ahead and created a new shell console. Um, in this method, we're going to use the air crack, which most people generally use. So I'm just going to type in air crack hyphen ng and then space hyphen e which we're going to use to mention the ESS ID of our network which would be Leet's network here. I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate that with uh, quotation marks as well since it's two words. So we got that there and then space hyphen w and we're going to use that for the word list so I can just switch over to my conqueror to obtain the path to that word list I made. Okay great and I can just add the direct file we're accessing Okay, and then once we have that information down, we can go ahead and also notate down the cat file, which has that handshake that took place, and that's going to be 
this one right here. So you can just copy this and notate down the directory it's in. And just hit enter. As you can see, it's going to go through all the keys that were notated down in that word list we have. And it's going to take some time while it goes through all these. It's going through about 200 keys per second. And so it's going to run through all these. And we're just, let's run its course and see if it finds a match. And actually right here, key found. There's the uh, key for my network, uh, which will change after this video, of course. But anyways, um, yeah, that, it, that was relatively quickly. However, this was an example. So I made sure the right key was in the network. But that's, I mean, that, that itself isn't a fairly common um, key and there's over a, uh, there's over a million keys in this word list, so it can it can go by fairly quickly. It just depends on the system you're using, the key that was created. Um, a lot of different variables need to be taken into consideration. But if you are going to do a once with the uh, same SSID like uh, Linksys and so forth, it'd probably be best to take the time to create a hash table, make things go by a lot quicker. Um, if there there's also you can add extra functions. You can use John the Ripper to add some. Uh, add some different equations, intermix characters and so forth uh, at a higher success rate. But you also be risking uh, the amount of time it takes to crack the password. So overall though, if, if their password isn't in a word list you have, if uh, it can't be manipulated to be in the word list you have, then it's pretty much, uh, you're not gonna have any luck getting that password. So that's how you crack a WPA uh, in encrypted password. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and you have a great day. Mushroom Hatbangers, subscribe or, uh, uh, well, die.